What's up guys, Houndish here, and today we're jumping in to take a quick look at all of the new raid weapons for the Garden of Salvation. So, we've got a bit of gameplay of each of the weapons right here. Currently, the potential roles for all of the weapons aren't visible in databases, so we can't check out every possible role, but I thought it would be cool to take an initial look at how some of these weapons look and feel, as well as some of the slightly unique bonuses that you can roll out on them. And that kind of appears to be the theme with these raid weapons at the moment, you know, there are only so many archetypes and styles of weapon in D2, and so Bungie are tending to focus on bringing some exclusive roles and perks that we don't always see on these archetypes via the raid weapons. Of course they do look very cool, the new raid weapons, but before we talk any more about them, gotta say a massive thanks to my clan mates Easy, Andy, Gorst, Alex, and the rest of the boys who've been grinding like crazy to get one of the early Xbox clears of the raid yesterday. It does mean that we can check out every single one of the new raid weapons for Shadowkeep, so let's get into it. And also, if you guys have any awesome rolls of these weapons, definitely drop them in the comments section below, as that'll kind of help to tip off other players about what we can potentially roll out on them while we wait for that database to come up. But first up we have the hand cannon, Ancient Gospel, and this is an adaptive frame energy hand cannon. The role that I'm using right here has arrowhead break and polygonal rifling, and then accurized rounds, so it can get pretty good range, especially if you could roll hammer forged or something in the barrels, but in the traits this one does have slide shot as well as swashbuckler. Swashbuckler is pretty tasty for sure, and for on console at the moment, this hand cannon for a 140 does feel pretty good with accurized rounds in there. That is despite the massive range changes that we've seen for hand cannons recently, but with it being an energy hand cannon, maybe stuff like Dragonfly could roll out here as well. But yeah, I generally can't complain in terms of how the weapon feels. The bow is a crude redemption, and this is a kinetic precision bow, so it's not like there are an absolute ton of these in the game. This one has agile bowstring, high tension, helical and straight fletching, but one of the interesting bonuses here would be no distractions. So aiming the weapon for a short time reduces flinch, and it totally works, although there aren't necessarily loads of situations where you'll kind of stand there ADS'd with a bow, so maybe it could help occasionally to land those shots in PvP. Let me know what you think down below, but this one also rolled moving target, and otherwise hopefully it'll get some trade options like we'd see on Spiteful Fang, so as a kinetic, Archer's Tempo, maybe Rampage, Explosive Hit. Personally, I tend to prefer bows that are energy and can get things like Dragonfly. They just feel really good to use, but maybe if you're a little more experienced with kinetic bows, let us know some good rolls down in the comment section. We've got a rapid fire spam sniper for the raid sniper this time around once again. So it's the Omniscient Eye. It's an energy slot sniper, and this one has rolled with chambered compensator and extended barrel, appended, and then extended mag, which gives it seven rounds. And it also has no distractions, so that's something you can roll on this one. But it's paired with snapshot in the traits, so the synergy isn't absolutely marvelous there, but the weapon feels pretty good in PvP. It doesn't feel quite as snappy a base as something like Alone as a God, but I had a bit of fun with it in Crucible, and I imagine for a lot of folks, they'll probably want it for PvP. But maybe with Fire in Line or Triple Tap, it could be nice for PvE too. Though I think a lot of the time folks tend to prefer the higher impact snipers for that. The Pulse Rifle from the raid has immediately caught the attention of quite a few people. It's aggressive burst, so for PvP, it is in that two burst territory, and this role has hammer forged rifling, as well as polygonal rifling, so it gets both pretty good range and stability boost options. And with adjustments to range in the game, any range that you can get on this is going to be useful. This one comes with armor piercing rounds and light mag, but it can also roll corkscrew rifling, high caliber rounds, ricochet rounds. This one has rangefinder and snapshot for traits, but you can also get full auto in the traits, as well as rapid hit, which is very different on a pulse rifle. Plus, all of the burst rounds are actually going to proc that. And with it having a bit more recoil firing all of those rounds, that generally is a pretty decent bonus. But Kill Clip is also a possible role in that final trait slot. And for console players, the recoil feels maybe a little more severe than the Blast Furnace. Of course, this is just with this role in particular. It shouldn't be too obnoxious though, especially with good stability stats and a counterbalance mod, but so this gameplay is a little bit laggy. Apologies for that, no idea what's been up with connections today, I think it actually might be my internet. But I'm also using the Prophet of Doom Raid shotgun in some of this gameplay, and this is a precision frame shotgun. The roll has small bore and corkscrew, and then assault mag and light mag, and I'm guessing it'll get pretty similar options to Dust Rock Blues on the PvP side. With them being the same archetype, I'm not sure which one will ultimately be better, assuming this one can hit similar range, but traits wise, here we do have Feeding Frenzy, which isn't a particularly common shotgun perk, and that's pretty fun, but it can also get 1-2 punch, so of course that's pretty popular. I don't know what other damage bonuses you could potentially roll here. And without seeing stats and stuff, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to be a groundbreaking new shotgun, but you never know, it might have a few tricks up its sleeve just yet. There is the Raid Auto Rifle, the Reckless Oracle, and this is a rapid fire frame auto, with void damage, and man, I haven't used one of these for quite a long time. This roll has hammer forged and polygonal rifling, which is pretty standard, but they're both good options for this weapon. And it rolled out with ricochet rounds. Still very solid, and it also has a light mag, and then mulligan, which is pretty curious. 
You can sometimes see it refunding a little bit more ammo back into the mag. It can also roll with Swashbuckler, which isn't bad, and the way the weapon handles at base here feels pretty solid on console. So with some good rolls, I think it'll turn out to be a pretty nice PvE auto rifle for fans of autos, but I'm gonna be completely honest man, I'm not the biggest fan of auto rifles in general in the game, so at the same time, to be fair, this one was surprisingly enjoyable to use. There is a rapid fire frame fusion rifle, and so it ain't no air and tell, I guess, but I used it a little bit in PvP. This roll has corkscrew and full bore, particle repeater, as well as projection fuse, which it can totally use that bump to range, but it also rolled shield disorient, and there are some other PvE focused perks in the pool. It can actually roll feeding frenzy in slot 1, as well as high impact reserves, so. It's an interesting rapid fire fusion. In PvP, you could totally get a better roll than this one. However, I don't think this is the most popular archetype in general. Also, for PvE rolls, though, it can roll Disruption Break, where breaking an enemy shield with the weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period, so that's certainly a little bit different as well. However, for now, that rounds up all of the new weapons that you can get from the raid. And I know many of you guys will be searching for the weapon rolls that you can get on these, so I'll link the collections tab to LightGG down below, and obviously you can check there to see if the potential perks have been added. And if they have, it's pretty useful because then you can just browse on the site and look for certain rolls that you might want to try and pick up. But I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at all of the new raid weapons, and let us know down below how you've got on with the launch of the new raid, as well as any awesome rolls that you've picked up on these particular weapons. But if you've enjoyed the video, a rating is very much appreciated below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to get subscribed to keep up to date with everything related to the game. But otherwise, thanks as always for tuning in guys, and whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.